Hello and welcome to fit to box channel and today we have got a fit to box lace up title fight between the fly super lace the champion and the challenger Clayto Reyes classic red with that famous Reyes logo just coming on to these gloves, we're going to go through the 12 rounds, we're going to look at all aspects of both gloves and come out with a winner. In terms of this glove, this is a 16 ounce glove, this is the burgundy and white new version. This glove, as I said in a previous video, is replacing the black and grey fly glove that I originally had and was the one that actually uh, won the title. Uh, and the reason for this being an improved glove is the knuckle area is uh, improved. It's got more padding in the knuckle area. And so this is the glove that will defend Fly's title going forward. And then we've got this glove. This is actually an 18 ounce glove, a glove borrowed from a friend at the gym who uses this extensively for sparring. So I have seen a lot of this glove over the last few months. When it comes to the actual title then, we're going to go through these 12 rounds and see who comes out as the champion. Currently, the Fly Super Lace champion, when it comes to the lace-up gloves, it is a fantastic glove. Won the title by beating a winning glove. That's how good this glove is. Okay, let's start off with the contest. Round one, Brand. When we come to Brand, Fly is very much the new kid on the block. But I have to say that Fly has made some amazing progress in a very short space of time. Recently, Ryan Burnett uh, captured the IBF World title in a pair of Fly gloves. And I can tell you that there will be many, many more professional boxers who will pick fly going forward then we come on to Clayto Reyes over 75 years of Mexican boxing heritage and these gloves have been featured in many of the historic professional boxing gloves that over the years it is an iconic glove in this round round one brand I have to give it a 10 points to nine points in favor of the Reyes simply because of that years and years and decades of heritage that this glove has got and this glove is instantly recognizable by your general public whereas obviously Fly as I say it's a great brand it's a great logo but it's not as high profile yet as the Clayto Reyes so round one goes to the Clayto Reyes 10-9 round two wrist with the wrist you, I do like that stitching across the back on the fly I like that crisscross there the actual padding nice padding at the back of there and also round it's got two bits of padding around the front of the wrist and when I show you once it's tied up so you can get the laces to follow that diagonal crossover at the back just put that there when it comes to the Clayto Reyes you've got those pads at the front there big thick square pads at the front and turn it around you've got these thick three thick pads give excellent support at the uh, at the bottom in the middle and also at the top of the wrist so that really does give a great support when tied up and I'll show you that and that's how it is tied up over there so you can see that actually by using those three panels you are using the lace to make sure that each part is tight as it could be for that reason i am going to give this round wrist 10 points to the clayton reyes and nine points to the fly round three thumb let me just show you the thumb on here Okay, so you can see the attachment, you can see how the thumb is shaped. Okay, it's a really long, comfortable thumb. Okay, you can see that handmade 
design on there you can see the shape of that thumb and then when I bring over to you it's a shorter thumb but it's a very very different thumb on this glove if I can just show you side by side when it comes to the thumbs they are totally different shape when it comes to thumbs on these two top top gloves okay so that's a shorter thumb uh, it's a very different shape in this round though because they are very comfortable both of them I am going to give it a 10 10 round round three round four face of the glove face of the glove and as I've said many times before this glove is already in that open hand position and that finger area provides almost like a second grip bar. On the Clayto Reyes, you can open your hand. Great protection, but you can't open your hand as much as the fly. And I'll put them both on so you can see what I mean. Um, I'll put that on as well. And then let's bring it down, bring it right down. And so that's already in that position. So it's already open and I can bring it in and open it out. That's in that position, I'm going to open it out and in. You can a little bit, but as you can see, the movement of the fly in comparison to the Clayton Reyes is a lot easier to catch those shots in the fly gloves. And, the, and for that reason, round four face of the glove is going to be 10 points to the fly super lace and nine points to the Clayton Reyes. Round five, knuckle area. Now, as I've said, the knuckle area on the fly has been improved recently. Okay, um, it was a much flatter padding on the previous black and grey glove. This is much softer, and I think that that is an improvement to the knuckle area of the fly glove. Now, I would say that this that means that this round is a draw because the padding on the Clayton knuckle area is good. I would have said that this would have been a round for the Clayton Reyes with the black and grey glove of fly, but with this new improved knuckle area, this round is a 10-10. Round 6, stitching. I'll bring that round for you, and you can see British craftsmanship on this glove. And you can see the stitching. Okay, this glove is still being improved and refined. So even though it's an excellent, excellent glove now, I have no doubt that Josh Stefan, the owner of Fly, will be taking these gloves and improving them further and further. When it comes to the stitching, Mexican craftsmanship, proven quality over decades with the Clayton Reyes. And as you can see, the stitching on there again is very, very good. For that round, round six, it is going to be 10-10. Round seven, quality and durability. Both gloves are top quality. And if you look after them, both of these gloves will last you years. Um, I have heard that people have said that the, the actual quality has gone down with the Clayto Reyes but I have to say I haven't experienced that and for that reason because they're both top quality in terms of how they're made round seven ten ten round number eight comfort for me the fly glove is super comfortable and for that reason uh, this round will be a fly round ten nine this also is a comfortable glove, but I do think that that ability when you're opening your hand and just how it just fits your hand and how nice it is, the lining on this glove, uh, I do think that it has the edge. And so round eight, 10 points to the fly and nine points to the Clayton Reyes. Round nine, style. This classic boxing style topped off with that famous logo. It really is sort of the archetypal boxing glove. And then you've got the fresh, amazing style that Fly brings. And I really do think that that does look a class, class glove. 
I am going to give it to the fly in terms of style. Um, I just think that it's just fresher, it's more updated, it's just more 2017 uh, than this glove. Um, so 10 points to the fly and 9 points to the Clayto Reyes. Then we come on to round 10, protection. The improved knuckle area on this glove means that this is going to be an even round. Great protection on both. Um, people do think that, obviously, to spar in Clayto Reyes, some people think, well, they're a puncher's glove. Um, but certainly, I mean, the guy that uses these is like six foot four, six foot five. He's about 16 stone, 16 and a half stone. Uh, he wears an 18 ounce glove, and uh, that is a, a good glove for his size. Obviously, if he was sparring in a 14 ounce, then that wouldn't be right because he is too big for a 14 ounce glove. Uh, but in terms of that sort of protection, um, you know, I think they're both great when it comes to sparring. So, round 10, 10 10 when it comes to protection. Round 11, performance of the glove. These gloves here, in sparring, absolutely wonderful. Really do feel comfortable, exactly what you want in a boxing glove. And uh, with the Clayto Reyes, I sparred in a pair of Clayto Reyes for many years, and they were very, very good gloves. But in saying that, if I had a choice, which I've got in this round, I am going to say the performance of the glove for the fly, I do give it the edge 10 to 9 in round 11 performance of the glove. Round 12, value for money. This, you get beautiful style and craftsmanship. This particular glove at 16 ounce is £315 and it is worth every single penny. When I come on to the Clayto Reyes, you can pick these up for about 180 to about 230 But the prices are rising on Clayto Reyes, uh, more in line with sort of winning prices. Uh, but again, a great, great glove for the cost of them. I am going to give this final round as a 10-10 value for money. Whether you spend your money on the fly or whether you spend your money on a Clayto Reyes glove, you will find that you that that is money well spent because these are both great gloves and uh, that's just reflected in the fact that Clayto Reyes have been at the top of its game for years and years and years and fly is so good that it is surging up in terms of what people think. Uh, when you're comparing the top boxing gloves and it used to be your winnings, your grants and your Clayto Reyes, well, I firmly believe that Fly should be up there as well and is up there uh, as recognised by many world champions. Uh, as I've said, Ryan Burnett recently won his world title fight in a pair of these. I know that the McDonald brothers have also wore Fly and also Conor Ben uh, wears Fly as well. So just wanted to say that uh, value for money i am going to give it a 10 10 final round okay so we have gone through 12 rounds all the different sections of both of these gloves and when you look at them side by side they are very different gloves the shape of them you know when it comes to things like the thumb the thumb area Okay, we'll bring that round and just the profile of the gloves, the knuckle area, you know, it really is a um, very different style. This Clayton Reyes glove is a wider glove and the fly glove is more of a sleeker glove across where the hand compartment is. So let's come to the actual decision and we have a winner and the winner is... 118 points to 116 points and still fit to box lace up champion the fly super lace retains its title in what was an excellent contest against the Clayton Reyes glove but I have to say 118 
to 116. The champion carries on with his reign. Um, the fly glove, what a great glove. Improved recently, and I think that really did help in this contest. 118 to 116. I give you the fit to box lace up champion, the fly super lace. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to Fit to Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.